Hi students, welcome back. Today we will study an interesting topic that is how electricity is produced from nuclear energy. All power stations make electricity. Fossil fuel power stations and nuclear power station all use the same process to make electricity from heat energy. The main four process that all power station use are number one, fuel produce heat which is used to boil water to make steam. Second, steam spins a turbine. Third, turbine drives a generator and generator makes electricity. Then fourth one, electricity goes to the transformer to produce current voltage. The only difference between fossil fuel power plant and nuclear power plants is how the water is heated. Fossil fuel power stations burn a chemical fuel while nuclear power station uses the fission of uranium nuclei to generate heat. Fission as the word suggests is dividing. The process of dividing a nucleus is called nuclear fission. Uranium is a non-renewable source of energy and like the fossil fuels, it cannot be replaced once it has been used up. Electricity can be obtained from nuclear energy by four main processes. First, it has to go through the nuclear reactor. Then there is a heat exchanger system. Then it has to go to the turbine and then to the generator. And this is how the electricity is produced. The most important thing, electricity is produced by nuclear fission. So let's see what is nuclear fission and fusion. As the name suggests, nuclear fusion is like adding up two nuclei together. When two nuclei are combined together to form a nucleus, then energy is released and the process is known as nuclear fusion. Then what is nuclear fission? When, when a nucleus is bombarded by a neutral and it divides or splitting of one nucleus into two or more nuclei is nuclear fission and in this process also high amount of energy is released. For electricity production we will use nuclear fission technique. In nuclear fission energy is released by this process. Radioactive waste is also produced. The diagram here shows that the fission of uranium can set up a chain reaction that will keep on releasing energy as long as there are uranium present. The nucleus splits into small nuclei. Energy is released two or more neutrons are released. The chain reaction happens because each uranium nucleus that splits give off more than one neutron. This cause more and more uranium nuclei to split. So nuclear fission is a chain reaction. Now as we have already studied that the nuclear power plant has four stages. The first one is the nuclear reactor. A nuclear reactor is designed to allow a controlled chain reaction to take place. As we have studied that the chain reaction goes on and goes on. So we have to control the chain reaction and this nuclear reactor is used for that. Movable control rods are placed between the rods of nuclear fuel as you can see here. These control rods absorb some of the neutrons, so fewer neutrons are available to split uranium nuclei. The position of the control rods is adjusted, so there are just enough neutrons for the chain reaction to keep going. In a nuclear reactor, the chain reaction of nuclear fission of uranium-235 is controlled by movable cadmium rods. The energy released in the process in the form of heat is absorbed by coolant which then passes through the coils of heat exchanger containing water. The water in the heat exchanger then gets heated and gets converted to steam. The, then the steam has energy. The steam is used to rotate the turbine. The turbine again what happens as the turbine rotates it rotates the generator. 
or the armature of generator in a magnetic field and thus electricity is produced this is how nuclear power plant produces electricity then what are the advantages of nuclear power plant a small amount of nuclear fuel such as uranium 235 can produce a tremendous amount of energy once the nuclear fuel is loaded into a nuclear power plant it continues to release energy over a long period the disadvantages are it's not a clean source of energy because it's very harmful nuclear radiations are produced in the process which are energetic and penetrating these radiation cause ionization and very harmful to the human body so a high standard of protection is needed for the persons working in power plant and also for the environment the waste obtained from the nuclear power plants cause a high degree of environmental pollution so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and if you like my video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel